Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how you can create your Celix shop. To do that, you go to celix.io and I'll be leaving the link to that website in the description of this video. It will bring you to this site where you do digital selling with ISTs, you sell subscriptions, you sell tokens, serial keys, digital downloads, video courses, softwares, and licenses in fast, easy, and secure way. So that is what you can do with Celix.io. Uh, again, with the current trend with the cryptocurrency, Celix provides you with the latest technologies, offering you a simple solution to sell your digital goods with cryptocurrencies. So for the pricing, uh, you come up here and check the pricing. And in this tutorial, we are going to be using the free one. So pricing. And then down here, you notice we have the free version, which is for individuals and small teams. Try our Celix without limits. This is for free. So you can click on get started if you want to use the free one. But you can also try the pro and the business. So to start on Celix, you simply click on get started at the top right corner. It brings you to this site where you can sign up with Google or you can use your email. So in this case, I'll use my email. And then you can give the store name. Let me call it Destinies. And then you provide the password. And then you confirm the password. And then you check here to indicate you agree to their terms. And then you click on create account. So you will go back to your email and click on the link that has been sent and it will bring you to this site. This is the homepage before you do any setup. So you'll need to set your info in general. You are going to also do the notification, the crypto, and then the terms, and then the personal. You can skip this setup, but in this case, we don't want to skip it because we want to do exactly that. So we start with the general information. Set up your business on Celix, starting with the basic features. And in this case, the basic features include the general information, such as uh, the logo, business logo. You can click here to upload or drag and drop. So in this case, I'm simply going to drag and drop. So I'll go to my desktop, drag this logo, and drop it. So we have it there, logo. Then we can set the currency here. You're able to change that to whichever currency that you need. So if it's USD, you select USD. Then you are able to do the business VAT percentage then in terms of uh, the VAT in your region or country. In this case, I'll just put 16%. And remember, you can skip these steps and do them later. So you can configure your business VAT. This percentage will be added to the total cost of your products during the final step of the purchase flow to your account or for your country's taxes. So you can do that and you can also adjust this when it is adjusted. Then you click on next so that we can now go to the next step here, which will be notification. So for the notification, we can now set when to get notifications. Let's begin with orders. Receive an email when you make a new sale. So if I want to receive an email, I'll leave this checked. If I don't, then I deactivate that. In this case, I'll leave it on. So for tickets, I receive an email when a feedback is created. I think this is very important so that you are able to respond in good time. So I'll activate that feedback, receive an email when a ticket is replied. I'll switch that on. So after that, you click on next step so that you are able to go to the third one, which is for crypto. So for crypto here, you can add your Bitcoin address. You can add your Litecoin address. You can add your Bitcoin Cash address or Ethereum address. So you're able to do that. And then you're able also to adjust the transaction threshold. With this, you can accept payments even if you haven't received the full amount. You choose the percentage between 0 to 15. And if a payment has been received within this range, the invoice will automatically be flagged as complete. So we can adjust that maybe to 5 or 10 or 15. Uh, for example, a threshold at 10%, you receive a payment of $9 for an order of $10. The order is completed anyway. 
then the threshold is not for overpaid orders. Even if you receive more than what is needed, the payment is processed. So that's how you use the transaction threshold. So you click on next so that we can go to the terms. You now add the terms of service. And you can add that even as a link up here. You notice you can add it as a link. You can also type your terms here and you can also add images to your terms. If maybe you need descriptions that are supported with images, you can add that. And you can also copy and paste a link here so that your clients can just click on the link and they can read your terms of service. So next, you just click on next step so that you can go to the personal. But in this case, because we have not put any terms, we are going to click on skip step so that we can now go to the personal information. So for personal, you can either select here, either you are a company or you are an individual. So if a company, you fill the details here. If you are an individual, you fill the details here. And you put all your details here, including the phone number, and the phone number here is compulsory. But since it's not a must we put the details now, I'll click on skip step. So it takes you now to this page and tells you congratulations. You have successfully configured the basics of your shop. So you here, and now this is where you now do the rest of the things. When you start having customers, you're also able to see your customer's return rate. And in this case, it's currently at 100% because I've not done any transactions yet. You notice I have not added any product and it's so easy to add a product. I click on that, then I click on create product. Then I give the product title here. Maybe I'm selling cars. Then I can give the description here. Then I can upload an image here. Then if I have a YouTube link to the product, I add it there. Then I come to pricing. I'll add the pricing there. How much will it be? Maybe it's a thousand dollars. Then I can go to the product details, if it has any serials and all this. And once I'm done, I also add all the other details, including payment methods down here. How do I want to be paid through Stripe, through PayPal, through Skrill, any here. Then once I'm done, I'll click on create product. So if I click on the second icon, I'm able to do the settings on my payments. I can check my balances. I can do payouts. I can do invoices, subscriptions, and licenses. For instance, if I click on invoice, you notice I don't have any invoices yet. I can also click on analytics so that I'm able to see my statistics and report. In this case, I don't have any statistics. You notice my total revenue is zero, orders zero, everything is at zero because I've just used this account for demonstration. Under settings now, so if I click on create shop, you notice I can have multiple shops. Remember I had already created one, but I can also add a shop here and call it Joshnet car bazaar and then i can add the logo the same way i added the first logo by simply dragging and dropping then i click on save changes and then you notice that each one of the shops can have its unique products feedback categories groups and much more so in a shop i create will have its own feedback separately and everything can be done separately for that shop. In this case, I'll just click on loose changes. I don't have to create another shop. You can also look at your tickets. If there are any tickets given, you can look at your feedback here and you can look at any appeals. So on security down here, you can come to your security and look at disputes. And on your dashboard again, you can look at blacklists. Maybe there are clients that you have blacklisted. There are those who you have whitelisted such, such that you are able to get their notifications anytime. So there's a lot you can do with Celix. So to view your profile, you simply come to the top right corner and you are able to see your profile here and you can easily access your dashboard, your shop, the subscriptions and all this. You can also change your settings under your profile.
So I hope that has been helpful. That is how you set up a Celix shop and that is how you use Celix. So I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.